as we prepare for our meditation. Slowly and gently we begin to close our eyes, pulling in the energy and the love and the peace from the Christ candle and the peace. And saying silently to yourself three times, peace, peace, peace. Eyes are closed, your body is relaxing more and more with the sound of my voice. Totally and completely relaxed, feeling the love and the energy of this beautiful center and all those within and those that could not be with us today. Feeling the love flowing through you to everyone in this room, out particularly to those who are not with us today, who are visiting family and friends, and out into our community as we send our joy out to everyone around us and feel that peace within. Now slowly and gently go to your meditation space, that area where you feel comfortable, secure, and totally protected, and feel the loving grace of God surrounding you as you continue to relax. I invite you now to connect to our brother Jesus as he appears before you now, either standing, walking toward you, or already sitting. He reaches out his hands, and as you hold hands, he is sending his light and love into your entire body and feel his presence now surrounding <coughs> you. Historically, and we don't let anything interrupt our meditation with Jesus. Historically, Jesus arose as a pagan celebration of revelry that centered on the winter solstice, December 22nd, which was also the shortest and the darkest day of the year. Centuries later, Christians took this holiday from their home and it eventually moved to December 25th where it became a symbol of the birth of Jesus as the Christian light of specialness that came into the darkened world according to the Gospel of John. The Course says that Jesus was not born into this world because of our sinfulness or so we could laud him as special or divine. Rather, he is one of us who simply made the decision we must all make. That is what made his life holy. His decision is a light within our minds that calls us to make the same decision. And because of this decision, his life, not his birth, was the birth of holiness within this dream world we live in. So how then do we celebrate his birth? The Christmas season is not inherently holy, says the Course. It is just an illusion. Neither time nor season means anything in eternity. But we can make it holy. Jesus said, it is within your power to make this season holy. For it is within your power to make the time of Christ be now. We do so by allowing the original Christmas event to be repeated in us. We allow Christ to be born in us. For the world is still in the darkness that it was over 2,000 years ago. And it needs the birth of holiness now, just as much as it did back then. So rather than seeing the Christ child as a unique divine instant outside us, we should see him as being born inside us to awaken us to our own divinity. Rather than seeing his birth as something that happened long ago, we need to realize that the birth of Christ is now, without a past or a future. Rather than seeing the Christmas star shining in the skies of ancient Palestine, announcing the birth of Jesus, we should see it shining in the heaven within, a sign of the impending birth within us. Rather than playing modern-day wise men and off 
offering the Christ child lavish gifts of love and praise. We should give him our illusions, our resentments, our pettiness, so that our minds are clear of any impediments to his birth within us. For Jesus said, this Christmas give the Holy Spirit everything that would hurt you. Let yourself be healed completely, that you may join with him in healing. And let us celebrate our release together by releasing everyone else with us. And we release everyone by not seeing them as separate, but as they truly are in the mind of God. Once having been asked by the Pharisees when the kingdom of God would come, Jesus replied, The kingdom of God does not come with your careful observation, nor will people say, Here it is, or there it is, because the kingdom of God is within you now. So yes, we celebrate the birth of baby Jesus, which occurred 2,000 years ago. But in a heaven of eternal here and now, we celebrate Christmas as the birth of the experience of total innocence and total holiness within us. If Christmas is God's gift to us, and we are children of God, is not Christmas our own experience of giving gifts? Let us not complain about how commercialized Christmas has become. For who would complain in heaven? Rather, let us realize we are like the ancient wise men. We recognize the birth of Christ in others and offer gifts to them of gratitude. Silently repeat to yourself with me, with each gift I give this holiday season, I cherish this thought. I recognize the birth in you. This gift I give is for the Christ child in you, bringing holy love and joy and peace to earth, the real meaning of Christmas. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for the gift of your Son and the teachings he brought to this dream world. Thank you for sending the Holy Spirit to help us to understand the true meaning of the birth and life of Jesus. Help us to remember to give to the Holy Spirit everything that we no longer need in this life, in this physical body, so that we can be healed completely as we join with Jesus in healing. And as we see the Christ child within others, we also recognize it within ourselves and we find only joy and peace and love in this Christmas season. Take just a moment now to allow Jesus to give you a special message meant just for you as he continues to hold your hand. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Father. Thank you to the Holy Spirit. As we bless each one that we meet, each day with a smile, with love in our hearts, as we go our way throughout the rest of this season and into the new year. And when you're ready, gently open your eyes. Return to this time and space. <laughs>